Airbus, the major aerospace company from France, Germany, and Spain, has formed a strategic partnership with Korea Aerospace Industries KAI. Both companies have agreed to commence large-scale production of Light Armed Helicopters LAH, for the South Korean military, a project valued at more than 4 billion euros. The LAH is a military adaptation for South Korea based on the French AS-365 Dauphin twin-engine helicopter. This collaboration comes after the Defense Acquisition Program Administration of South Korea awarded KAI a contract in December 2022. Initially, the contract covers the delivery of 10 LAH units to the Republic of Korea Army, with shipments scheduled to begin by the end of 2024. The program is set to extend over the next decade, with production activities continuing until 2031. The LAH has evolved from the Eurocopter EC-155 as a result of a 2015 agreement between multinational manufacturer Airbus Helicopters and KAI. It is versatile and capable of fulfilling various mission roles, such as light attack, close air support, escort, and troop transport duties, replacing both the MD-500 Defender and AH-1S Cobra helicopters used by the Republic of Korea Army, ROCA. This new agreement allows Airbus Helicopters and KAI to advance to the next phase of the LAH program. Production will be scaled up at KAI's facilities in Seishin, South Korea, with Airbus Helicopters providing the necessary components for mass production. The LAH is designed as a multi-role light-armed helicopter, jointly manufactured by Korea Aerospace Industries in partnership with Airbus Helicopters. It conducted its inaugural flight in July 2019 and received official qualification in 2022. The primary user is the Republic of Korea Army. In terms of performance, the LAH can achieve a maximum speed of approximately 175 knots and has an operational range of around 700 kilometers. It can operate at altitudes of up to 13,000 feet and has a rate of climb of 1,500 feet per minute. Regarding weaponry, the LAH is equipped with a 20mm cannon and has the capability to carry 70mm rocket pods, anti-tank guided missiles, and air-to-air -air missiles. It features advanced targeting radar for all-weather, day-night operations, as well as state-of-the-art GPS and INS systems for navigation and secure communication systems for tactical operations. The cockpit is outfitted with multifunction displays, and the helicopter incorporates a four-blade main rotor and a fenestrin tail rotor for improved stability and control. Safety features include crash-resistant seats and fuel tanks. In addition to the LAH program, both companies have also signed an agreement to deepen their involvement in the Korean Utility Helicopter KUH Surayan, program. This program aims to meet a wide range of operational needs for military, civil, and public markets. The KUH Surayan is a medium utility helicopter developed collaboratively by Korea Aerospace Industries KAI, and Airbus Helicopters, formerly Eurocopter. Designed to fulfill various roles, including troop transport, medical evacuation, and search and rescue operations, the Surayan is the first helicopter of its kind to be manufactured in South Korea. The KUH-1 Surayan can transport up to 16 troops within an operational range of 530 kilometers. It is powered by two Hanwha Tequin T700 ST 701K turboshaft engines, a variant of the T700 GE 701C engine. The KUH-1 Surayan is adaptable for specific roles, including armed and maritime versions, and is capable of operating in challenging weather conditions and diverse terrains.